G'day everyone, how's it all going? So what we're going to check out today is a Maple Sausage MRE. This is from a 2012 box and it's done by the Warnock Company. I've wanted to try one of these for ages, so let's crack into it. First we're going to try and open up this easy peel seal. And hey, check that out, it was really good. Got the accessory pack, let's have a look straight away what's in here. Oh, straight away. Couple of my favourites, cinnamon gum, taster's choice, non-dairy creamer, the matches, iodized salt, moist towelette, sugar, and your loo roll. We've also got maple muffin top, nut raisin mix, crackers, Cheese spread. Yeah, table syrup. Awesome. So, I always thought this was maple syrup, but it's not. It's just maple flavoured. So, they've used a lot of corn syrup and stuff like that to make it up. MRE spoon. Ooh, beverage base orange type 3. Don't know if I've actually seen these sitting just by themselves in here. Usually, I've actually seen them sitting in the accessory packs in here, these little ones here. FRH, hot beverage bag, and finally a pork sausage patty maple flavoured. I'll get this heated up and we'll get the rest of the stuff out onto a tray. But first we'll get into these drinks and if you saw my last review with the PR1M I had a bit of bad luck with the coffee and it was really hard and I also had some mould on it and looking at this one and the feel of it, it's got some big chunks and it just does not look quite right. It's got a bit of a weird colour on some parts of it. So unfortunately, once again, no coffee for me. Bugger. So let's try this orange beverage base instead. Feels pretty good inside there. And it asks to be mixed with 20 fluid ounces of water, which is approximately 600 mils for what we use in Australia. And it's a full canteen cup. A lot of people just add this straight to a little water bottle. Uh, works pretty well for them. But I thought, seeing as I've got these couple of new little toys here, I may as well use them. Give it a bit of a stir. You can feel a few little chunks there that haven't quite uh, mixed up yet, but that should be fine. Bit of time in the water, should be all sweet. So... Let's put the rest of this stuff out on the tray. So first we'll open up these crackers and I've got a new microphone, which is directional. So I don't know if we'll pick up any hiss, but let's see. Oh, I heard a good hiss, but uh, I'm not sure if you did. Hopefully it comes out. Crackers look absolutely fantastic there. Really good condition still. Let's give them a smell now. Nah, smell perfect. Nothing wrong with those. And we've got our nut raisin mix. Take out this air absorber. Pretty nice mix in there. So we've got peanuts, raisins, walnuts, almonds, hazelnuts. Really cool. Cheese spread. I did give this a good knead before. So... Always a good idea to just give it a really good mix beforehand. And ah, we'll chuck some on later. Table syrup. Open that one up too. Pretty much this is just like a sugary syrup with some maple flavouring in it. Any Canadian will probably be having a heart attack looking at that stuff. Our maple muffin top. It's actually one of the reasons why I've been really looking forward to trying this one out. Got the air absorber. Give that one a sniff too. Very sweet smell. Nice and light on the smell of the maple syrup that's in there or on it. And got a bit of discoloration on the top here. However, that's nothing to worry about. Just a little bit of drying. 
So, let's check out this pork sausage. I've got to give this a sniff. Mm. That smells pretty good. Nice sausage smell that you got there. And really cool sauce. Might try a little bit of that right now too. <laughs> that sauce is a very strange mix of flavors there. Um, yeah, it's like just like the sausage juices with a little bit of a sweetness there, but not really a maple sort of flavor in it. So let's try this sausage on its own first. Wow, that is awesome. Really, really soft and tender. Great sausage flavor as well. That's um, unbelievable, really good. So, might chuck a little bit of this table syrup on here. And we'll try it with that. Ooh, never had anything like that before. That saltiness of the sausage, along with the sweetness of the syrup, just a really, really weird mix. However, it does work. Let's try a little bit of this muffin on its own, because I'm really looking forward to turning this into like a bit of a burger. Very soft, feels really good. Not too bad, uh, slightly grainy with the texture, but it is quite soft still. Um, I don't really get a maple sort of flavor from it. It's almost just like a sweet vanilla cake that it tastes like to me. Now we'll get into some of this cracker here. Just try a little bit of it, just on its own. See how it's gone after all this time. Very, very dry. It does dry your mouth out a little bit. I'm glad we've got the cheese spread and not peanut butter. So let's chuck some of this on here. Oh, it's pretty grainy there. I think it's seen some better days in the past, but that's right. Should still be fine. Yeah, even though it looks like it's separated a bit, it is still absolutely fine. Great taste, great texture. Nothing wrong with it at all. And it goes so well on these crackers. Might have a bit of this orange beverage base just to wash that down. While you're drinking it, it's really, really nice. However, it does have a very off-putting artificial vitamin C taste to it with the orange. It's almost slightly sourish. It's not super sweet at all. And we'll try these nuts here and the raisins. Hopefully get a bit of everything, walnuts, Almonds, peanuts, raisins, perfect. The age on the nuts and the raisins is really starting to show with the taste. However, texture-wise, they're still fantastic, except maybe these raisins, which are just a little bit dry. Other than that, though, still really good. And like I said, I wanted to turn this into a bit of a burger or a breakfast muffin here. So... Let's open that up. We'll put the sausage in here. Get our table syrup. Plenty of that on. And let's take a nice big bite of that one. <laughs> that was so good I had to take a second bite while I was still holding it. Absolutely fantastic. That weight has so been worth it. Great salty sausage with a great texture and flavor. Sometimes you get like a cheaper sausage taste and it gives you a really bad taste in your mouth. This one isn't like that. Really is quite nice. The muffin with the sausage as well as that syrup, absolutely fantastic. Now I'm not gonna try this gum today. I've had cinnamon gum plenty of times in the past. I'm going to save that for later on after I finish this whole meal. So that's the end of my review, everyone. Hope you like it. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you also hit that little bell so you get notified of any new videos that I release. If you want to keep up with me outside of YouTube, you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram as well. Thanks for watching, everyone. See ya.